Let's look at a situation in which a $2,500 loan is compounded um, quarterly at 15% APR for 15 years. How much will be owed at the end, assuming there's no payments during that time? Um, let's check it out. Here's the equation we use. A is for the amount that will be owed. P is for principal, right? So this principal is the initial amount. There's your P. Um, rate. Here's your rate, but you don't put it in this 15, you put it in this 0.15, right? Always put it in decimal form, so we're moving that decimal two places to the left. Um, compounded quarterly, right? Compounded quarterly means it's compounded four times per year. N equals four, whoops. N equals four. Okay. Here is a list of different values for N for annually, semi-annually, quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily, right? How many times per year is it compounded? So quarterly would be four, monthly, 12, etc. Okay, in this case, we have quarterly, so four, all right? And then 15 years, so that tells us that our T is 15. Okay, so we're plugging everything in. So the amount, that's what we're looking for, is 2,500, or 2,500, all right, times one plus R is 0.15 over N. Well, N we decided was four, all to the power of NT, so four times 15. I'm gonna put these little safety parentheses up here, right, because when you put this in your calculator, if you just put four times 15, it's gonna multiply 15 uh, by the, the by the all of this are going to just going to multiply 15 at the end instead of four times 15 on the exponent. So in my calculator, which is a TI, uh, I'm putting 2,500 right times. Um, so that would be okay. I'm hitting the times key. All right, left parentheses one plus 0.15 divided by four. Close parentheses, power, button, parentheses, four times 15, close parentheses. Okay, let's see what that gives. So we get 22,762 dollars and 83 cents. If you round to the nearest hundred, there we go. So honestly, probably not the best situation to be in here if you're not making any payments on that loan. That's a lot of money for a $2,500 loan. So be careful, compound interest will catch up with the borrower.